Christ. <laughs> There's no dry no, sand at all um, because the waves have literally been taken over the whole beach. So when it's been when it's been the super high tide, there's been no beach to drive on at all. Uh, we've seen a few cool big trucks today. You now we had a little funny situation as we were um, trying to get a better view, because not just my face. Um, so as we were driving, ah no, okay, cut, cut. As we were airing down our tyres, our valves got stuck and there was just air spewing out of all our tyres. We weren't quite sure, like we couldn't figure it out. Dan was using the little special tyre poker that's called... Shit, I don't know. A tyre poker. Let's just call it a tyre poker. And of all Valve things, of all things, a man walked past to say hello and check out our truck. And he asked me, I was, yeah, I just said, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're trying to air down our tires, but the air is spewing out. And he asked us a couple of questions about tires. And I didn't think anything of it. And then he's like, oh, well, because I'm a tire fitter. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank goodness. What do we do? And he was asking about whether we had um, that the glass, uh, glass, balls. glass balls in the tires or like the magnet weights for the tires for like your balancing. Your balancing. And we're like, oh gosh, we don't even know. And he had a look under the tyres and saw that we don't have the weight magnets on the rim. So we've got these glass balls and they throw them into your tyre and they smooth themselves out. And so basically it means for the life of that tyre, your wheels stay perfectly balanced. And you can interchange every tyre and they will always perfectly balance themselves out. But he said the problem with that is, over time, we, we were saying to him that it looked like sand was blowing out when we were trying to fix them and the, the, the air was gushing out really quickly and he said it's just the fragments of glass so basically what we want to do is every time we need to air down we want to try and roll so all of our caps are at the top of the wheel because then it's more likely to fall out and blast a little bit of air from our compressor in to the tyre to blow out the gaps the valves and that way when we put in our preset uh, tyre deflators they won't get stuck so that was super heavy thank you to tire man you made our day much less stressful and at least we know now we don't need to call the tire shop panic and being panicking about what's wrong with our wheels because they're brand new and they cost a large sum of money but yeah we're going to keep driving on we're about two thirds into our trip up to our campsite and it's all oh, planes i'll show you the planes
section doesn't really do it justice. Um, it, you can kind of see the window bits on the side bumping around so it was really just rocky our tires were down to about 50 psi we weren't sure how low to go uh, but it was much bumpier than the video shows and we were a bit nervous but it was a lot of fun so at the end of it we had a few drawers out and a little bit of broken things but it was all fixable when we got back to camp very bumpy rock drive as you can see the drawers are a bit skewed um, and you can probably also notice that not everything's finished we still need to run some conduit and do all of our edging and siliconing in the window frames but good for this trip Are you waterproof? Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of waterproof. You don't break if you get wet. <laughs> to take my goggles off. Here's the big red truck.
Happy Valley and of all the little bits of trekking we've done so far and the uh, um, bumpy rides unfortunately one of our drawers came out and the microwave decided it wasn't happy with its position anymore and jumped off its little ledge where <laughs> we had brackets to screw it down and just have been distracted and forgot so there was glass everywhere glass in the clothes and that drawer that it's landed on has broken but look we knew we'd have to do a bit of fixing up of the drawers we can't put in that wheelie bin baby it's locked oh so yeah a bit sad broken broken oh it looks very patchy it doesn't look patchy a little bit patchy eh, it's hard to light should have given me a pay rise, would have painted it better. Ooh, I don't pay him to build it. It's alright. It's alright. You can tell. <laughs> it's doing pretty well. I've been here for 24 hours. And we did the drive up here yesterday because um, of all the tides being crazy. Like I said earlier in our video. But um, we're all set up. We've got a big group of people here. cyclone was meant to hit and look at this Wait, what? yeah the skies we almost didn't come just because it was meant to be torrential rain every day uh, 30 to 40 kilometer winds every day and just with the fact that it's our first trip and we weren't a hundred percent prepped because the inside's not really finished yet going on a cyclone trip was probably a little bit silly um, but yeah, we're really lucky we were up at the Sunshine Coast early and the weather just turned around. So I think the uh, skies and the world is liking us and being kind to us. Thank you. Because um, there's nothing worse than doing six days on a beach in torrential rain when your awning hasn't arrived yet. So we're 
It's um, blowing a gale today. So yesterday when I said cyclone, what cyclone? Well, the winds have come. But um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Down at Eli Creek, it was just perfect. It was still windy, but hot. And the water is just gorgeous. So, but yeah, so we're packed back up now. We've got, after our microwave disaster, we've cleaned up and fixed our little drawer. Another thing we learned about this trip, about little bits and pieces we need to tweak. But we always knew this trip was going to be a big test because it's the first trip in the truck and we weren't really 100% finished. But we weren't going to let this trip wait for anybody and we were going to come no matter what. So our bed is currently just a plank of wood. No. But, you know, it does. It's still much more luxurious than our dodgy old $50 tent that we have been using the last year for our last minute camping trips. Um, yeah, but that's, that's a very wet sandy window and Dan keeps going to bed going, why is the bed so sandy? Well, I reckon that's why. <laughs>